Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nick Parker. So thank you for coming. Um, when I came up with this idea six months ago, I thought it would be me and Rob Poynton sitting in an empty room on our own. Um, so welcome to what is Inexpert 2018, which is, I've been describing it as a social experiment disguised as a conference. Um, there are no objectives, there's not really any point to it today. Um, it's a question we're exploring here. What happens if we try to do the opposite of normal? What happens if we do the opposite of common sense? Normally you come to these things with the idea of going back with some answers or some uh, models or some tangible takeaways. If you leave with any of those today, we have all single-handedly failed. <laughs> Uh, so there are no objectives, just curious questions. But there's a serious intent here. Um, and there's a certain amount of structure we've put around this day just to uh, allow us to experience something different. Let me just find my clicker. So just enough structure, I think, is really important to make it feel safe for us and for the speakers. And I don't know if you've realised this isn't just about the speakers. Everyone in this room is part of this experiment. The speakers, myself... Uh, Nick playing his trumpet, uh, Sophie doing the filming, Steve doing the, the photography, the guys at City Lit, everyone is part of this. Um, and to be honest, I, I sort of know what's going to happen. I think there'll be moments when the audience will find this more excruciating than the speakers. <laughs> so we've got one little model that I wanted to share with you. It's a model I've borrowed from Rob, who you hear from later on. And it is this. Let go, notice more, and use everything. So let go of this having to be anything in particular. Let go of whether this is going well or not well, or good or bad. Because the, the fact is, this has never been done before, and it will never happen again. Which means that there isn't a bar that's been set, yeah? So there's no, there's no bar to meet. And there's no best practice to take away, because we'll never do it again. So just let go, and whatever it is, is whatever it is. Let, let go of whether you're judging whether the speakers are an expert or not, or even a definition of what an expert is. I have to confess, I have no idea what an expert is. If I knew, I wouldn't be doing this experiment, because I'd already know. And if we let go of all of that, it means that everything's an offer. It means that we can notice more. So as you're letting go of any objectives or intentions you have here, start to notice how that makes you feel. What does it make you think? Are you having moments of, uh, of intense joy at what's going on on this stage? Are you having moments of revulsion? Are you thinking, oh, this is a waste of time and money and effort? Whatever is happening, notice it. And just as you're sitting here right now, I mean, loads of people on Twitter today have been saying, I don't know what I'm going to. Neither do I. So maybe just shout out, what, what are you noticing right now? What are you thinking? What are you feeling? What are your emotions saying? Just shout out some words. Happy. Yeah, one person's happy. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Excited? Anything else? Anticipation. Anticipation. Nice. Speakers, what's that going on for you? Relief. Nervous. <laughs> relief. <laughs> no, do we? Yeah. So notice, notice everything. And then use everything. So whatever you notice is going to be a little clue as to what's going on. If you're noticing that the lack of tangible takeaways is dissatisfying for you, isn't that really interesting? Whatever happens is whatever's meant to happen. So the design, there is a structure just to hold this loosely together, uh, is we're going to have three parts. We've got um, 13 speakers, I think. Um, unfortunately, both uh, Claire Genkai and Kieran Sontai couldn't make it today for very good, not very good, very bad and very unfortunate personal reasons. Uh, but Claire will be participating in some shape or form, as Zen ministers tend to. Um, <laughs> it's nothing more high-tech than she's written some words that, that we'll read later on. Um, uh, so we have three parts with a number of different speakers. Now, I know roughly what these speakers are going to be talking about, but I have no idea what the content is. So it's an exploration for them as well. Um, and some of it may involve audience participation. I have absolutely no idea. But there is one speaker you would have noticed. Um, this will happen in the third part, so the final part of the day. And if, every single speaker has got a different format and a slightly different subject. So if you can stick here for the entire day, um, you'll be treated to the wonders of things like the inexpert debate later on. But there is one, the, la the first speaker of the last slot is what we've called not known, is the wildcard speaker. And it's where this guy comes in here. At any point, this will be outside in reception. 
any of you in the audience can write your name on a little card and put it in the box. What will happen at the start of part three is I'll put my hand into the mouth of the box. I will pull out a name and I will say, and next speaker is, and then you will come walking down and you have 10 minutes, yeah, to give a talk on something you're passionate about but have no expertise in. There will definitely be names in this box, knowing a few people in the room. Um, so by all means, put your names in. A couple of important things is put your name in. Yeah. <laughs> I've already anticipated that. So don't, <laughs> don't pimp your mates, yeah? Um, because what I will do, it, it's what is really important about this is the people on this stage feel safe enough to do something that is very vulnerable and not, not, not normal, really. So I'll pick a name out of the hat and I'll say, your name is so-and-so, do you want to do it? And you can say no. Or you can say, I didn't put my name in. 